Welcome guys, so this time around we have a little bit of an interesting video and um, it's due to the fact that I forgot to put on the microphone for the first two games when I recorded these games but for, the co for completeness sake I didn't want to um, hide them from you so I'll be doing the first two games in post commentary like as for now, in retrospective, on the video, and then I leave you with my original in-game commentary. Okay, so we're still playing the Agro Paladin, you can see the deck list on the right. The in-game sound is has been recorded, but I just forgot to put on the microphone. Uh, first game is against Hunter, and I will spend a few moments on thinking about how good Double Squire is. Because against... Um, Hunter, there are a lot of good silence targets, so I definitely want to keep the Owl. And going first, I definitely want to keep the Squire also. Um, most of the Hunters I meet right now are mid-range, but um, both kinds of Hunters have like Mad Scientist and Haunted Creeper to silence early, and Argent Squire to com contest like Leper Gnomes, um, mini bots, and stuff like that. Um, Blessing of Might is also quite nice with um, Argent Squire, obviously. So having like two Squires and um, Blessing of Might might have been kind of nice, but we'll see what happens here. It's the Creeper that's like the reason why I kept the Owl, or one of the reasons why I kept the Owl. And yeah. the Creeper is going to get silenced, which isn't quite optimal because he could like trade twice into the squire but it, it still it still doesn't give me the the one one uh, spider links from this spider and fortunately he doesn't come up with um a turn two play and he doesn't play um and he doesn't trade into the owl which means i can use the argent protector here to like trade and keep the owl around the question is, because this is turn 3, you might come up with Unleash. If I play Argent Protector and trade the Owl into the Spiderling, uh, or into the Creeper, um, I'll end up with a board of like a 2-1, a 1-1. One, one. And therefore he could have easily killed like Squire and Owl um, because of the third body, the Protector. That's why I chose to run the Owl into and go, go with the Minion Bot to have more Divine Shields and less Minions on the board. That can still deal with a turn 3 animal companion that is not weak against um, something like Eagle Horn Bow. And it worked out quite well here. I choose the Shredder over um, the second protector because I would have to like either develop the Squire or play a Zero Power, which again gives him a good chance of using Unleash. Whereas this play either has a 4-3 or a 4-1 most of the time on the board. And now I have the Blessing of Kings. Um, I can think about a lot of time uh, things here, especially what to buff. Given that I already ha have um, the Squire as a, good buff t as a good silence target and that he didn't de de deal with it already, I think buffing the um, mini bot which still has divine shield and is basically a 6-7 at least now um, it's the best buff target for now because it's not that vulnerable to owl um, and it still gives me the opportunity of even if he plays unleash uh, it doesn't get killed easily well it probably doesn't quite matter which trap it is he would have been dead anyways at least I could have traded with my 6 6 into his explosive trap, uh, deal 7 damage with both Divine Shield minions, and then just Argent Protector the 6 6 again. Which probably would have led to his dead the next turn. And uh, let's just stop for a second. This is against Druid. Uh, Leopard Gnome is obviously better going first against Druid, and the Argent Protector might not hit any uh, anything here. Um, which makes this keep somewhat risky but I still get like two, three more draws for the next few turns so I might actually pick up something that's worth it like the Argent Squire now I can 
Coinout Squire and Leper Gnome. So there will probably be one target left on the board that I can buff. But the Knife Juggler gives it an interesting twist because there are a lot, um, lot more options now. And I go with the Knife Juggler, which is a little bit more risky play. But if, this, uh, if he doesn't have a Wrath or Innovate Keeper, it gives me the opportunity of playing the Argent Protector next turn, getting a knife in and getting three damage in with a juggler, or just to play something like a Squire and Leper Gnome to get a few more knives in. But this would be really... Like, if he wild growths, then this is very vulnerable to both Swipe and Keeper, so I would probably go with the Argent Protector. Um, if he just Wraths, I lose basically, like, maybe two damage because um, he would have killed like one of my minions if I coin out both my one drops. But I feel like it's okay. But this play, of course, loses somewhat badly to Innovate Keeper, which I know now will exactly happen. At this point, I really feel like I've lost this game already. Because I can only follow it up with my one drops that also die to the keeper. So, like, Innovate Keeper is really, really the dream opening um, for him. Especially if I coin out a Knife Juggler. But against an aggro deck, you want to play Innovate Keeper early. So, that's pretty good for him. He can also kind of deal with my stuff. But at least I can renew this Divine Shield and play a deck hand. So that I might be, might have a target next turn to play the Blessing of Kings on. Of course, if he has Swipe, he just needs to trade into um, the Deckhand and then Swipe the Protector and then I have nothing and definitely lose the game. But it seems like he doesn't have that, so he trades here. But also has another card to, yeah, do this. <laughs> That's not that great for me, but I at least draw the Shredder, which makes this trade much more better than leaving up the 2-4 and just going with a 5-5 to the face. At this point, let's stop for a second. Um, at this point, I'm also quite happy about this draw because it lines up quite well against most things that he could play. Um, I have an Owl in case of a Belcher, which doesn't really line up this well, but I have the Kings to deal with, let's say, a Druid of the Claw, which gets a lot of better, especially because he just played a Keeper already. And if he has to play a Keeper turn 6 to silence my Shredder that I used to run into his, let's say, Druid of the Claw, well, then he still, like, leaks 2 mana, and I still have a 4... It's a 4-7 runs, it's, a, it's still a 4-3 then, which will help a lot. And if he does play something else, like, I don't know, um, he probably plays something because he missed his last drop, and Druids tend to have 5 drops a lot in their deck. If, if he plays something like Harrison Jones, I can simply kill it and still have this around and a possible 2-drop of this. Where shall I but it turns out to be a Druid of the Claw which is somewhat according to plan. <laughs> and I'm fortunate enough to get a 1-drop with it, so that I can actually develop something else by dealing with this um, Druid of the Claw at the same time. So well, that's quite a good board for me now. Um, especially because he does this and follows it up with a second one. Which just doesn't do anything but only gets rid of this. He has five cards in his hand. But against Druid, I feel like I need the... Um, I need the cards... Uh, I need the Owl rather than one additional card. Because I could have used the Iron Beak Owl and, kill, uh, and silence my own Taskmaster to get an additional card. But I would rather get like one less card, have the Owl still, and get to develop something that doesn't just cost one mana. Like a cock hammer, like a knife juggler, or maybe even knife juggler deckhand, which seems pretty good here. I think he made somewhat clear that he didn't have wrath so far, uh, but even if he has it, 
he cannot entirely clear, even with hero power, because at least a 1-1 will survive on the board. And this part is pretty good against Boom, kinda, because I can just choose to ignore it. Although, it's a little bit annoying that he ha that I have the Knife Juggler that will probably cost me the one or other minion. Which means I want to give the Divine Shield before. Of course, give it to a minion that already has the Divine Shield, which was 1 and 4. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but still okay, I feel like. Well, now I can get to develop either a Shredder or the Argent Protector. And I feel like I want to use the Argent Protector because um, I don't want my Knife Juggler to die easily. Hitting face with everything because minions will probably die. Yeah, like this. This goes face, which is probably like the best target here. And all of a sudden, even though he had an Innovate Keeper, uh, this looks pretty great. Mainly because of his weak double Druid of the Claw turn. And because of um, me getting the Divine Favor. Well, the Lothar obviously doesn't do too much because, well, I don't have spells in my hand. Um, this was, of course, the best target, so he gets rid of my Knife Juggler. But with this top deck, I have easy lethal on the board. And we win this game too. So now will come the point where I actually realize that my microphone doesn't work. Which is short after the mulligan, which, even though everything will look kind of the same, I'll leave you alone with um, my past me, who actually does in-game commentary on the game. I hope, I hope that's not too, like, too confusing. Uh, actually, yeah. okay, so thanks from the present me, and... Have fun. Oh yeah, I realized that I muted my microphone. Great thing. Okay. So, strangely enough, most warlocks you meet right now are... Um, handlock. I don't know exactly what caused zoo to disease but or to go back in popularity but it's interesting this is five could be six plus three nine fifteen I probably hope that this protects my juggler this would be really good Thank you. so that I can go for a bigger kill one or two turns also, the Divine Favor will help a lot. Okay, let's see. That's 5, 7, 10. I think I go for this. Uh, no silence, unfortunately. I'm a little bit afraid of um, something like Taunt, Giver, and Belcher. Hmm. So what I could do is like Blessing of Might hit hit, hit his face. 15 is a pretty good number, but I can't kill him from there. Not that easy right now. Because I don't have this much damage in hand. 15. Not even close. I think I go all in. I wanted to go all in at the first time, so that's why I used the Divine Favor. So I hoped that I would get an Owl, so that I could easily bypass a taunt. Ah, well. We'll see.
there's still this taunt divine shield thing in the way. That's not too great for him. Okay, Sun Fury. Okay. That's six already, right? Okay, never mind. Uh, that's six, seven, yeah. Four, six, eight. Seven, ready. For justice. Ha ha! Ha ha! Versus Gul'dan! And there's an owl. I will fight with honor. Not the same guy. Um I think one owl should be enough. Especially going first. They want to have a foot on the board. Um But owl is really valuable. Oh, okay. No one drops for me. Nope. So if he doesn't play something the next turn, I don't even have a turn two, huh? Okay. Reporting for duty. Don't even have an appealing turn three. <laughs> wow. The battle for justice. This is way less explosive than the last game. So many possibilities. Oh, he didn't do anything. That's interesting. Hmm. I wonder what this means. Maybe coin Belcher? This is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three cards, four cards. Mm. It's probably my best bet here. It's a lot of damage. Yeah. And I get more options for the future turns. The battle! The battle! The battle! The battle! For justice! So what do I hand have from hand? That's five damage here, nine, thirteen. And I want to develop something. Um, slow, so that I can use this to my advantage in the future turns. Okay, I have uh, six mana next turn. Which would be something like Wolf Rider, Wolf Rider, 6 damage. With Shredder, it's 10. I think I can't go for the True Silver Face right now. I could go Kings, Deck Hands, also 6. I'm gonna go for the deckhand now. Put him at 14. Move quickly. 14 seems alright. 13 is dangerous because he has coin. Can play Molten Coin Sun Fury now if he wants to. But that's not enough. Like, I have the owl still. But I don't want him to taunt up two guys. Well, if he taps. 12. Oh, okay. Doesn't work either. So there is a Molten, and there is Coin Sun Fury, I suppose. Okay, 
So I've all four more mana. I have six, seven damage here. I need seven more. That's five more. Eh. Sad. Let me I could go for a king's protector though. This would be fun. Or a cock hammer. <laughs> Not an easy decision. I wonder. Yeah, let's go with this. Huh? D uh, it dies to be Dage, though. Maybe King's abusive hit. It here. Wait. It's not even. Get in there, fight. Uh, no. Not <laughs> okay. They badly roped this. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well. This turret probably cost me the game. I've got the uh, of course. Jesus Christ. I just lost 8 damage. Right away. That's rough. Well, let's see what we can do here. I lost 8 damage this turn. I hope I can still win though. So many Didn't use a mortal coil many. earlier, so you might not have it. So I might have to make a painful move to get rid of the wolf rider. Or maybe just Shadow Flame or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of a painful move. That's 4, 8, 11. It's actually really close again. Boombots are annoying though. Um, let's see. Seven, nine, eleven. Then I hope that he doesn't do what? Guild bond. I guess. Let's say he hits me and health fires and dark bombs. No, he would have dark bombed earlier, right? Dark bomb is uh, hellfire. Dark bomb is six plus nine is fifteen. Then he would need uh, like average boom bots, I suppose, to kill me. So many possibilities. Well, I have a second one. Don't really care about this one. This means he doesn't hellfire this turn. That's interesting. Oh. Okay, should mean that I win. Even though I was too dumb to execute this one turn. But I was too dumb to put on the microphone earlier also. So. <laughs> 